Hey guys, welcome to this week's training video. And today we're going to talk about Instagram. So we have a story reply and a story mention trigger. And we're going to base our uh, automations on this. So the first one that we will cover is the story replied. So if we take a look on the flow that I set up, you will already see that I have a starting trigger here. I set this up under the automation, under triggers. And if we scroll down, then you will see a story replied here. If you can also find this by going towards new triggers, then scroll down until you see story replied. This means that soon as a user replies on a specific story of your Instagram page, then this trigger will be engaged. And once you basically edit this, right, then we will be able to map a few things. So save the context to user fields. So we can map the story ID, we can map the URL, we can map the message, right? So this, these are the things that we can map and you can also add bot filters if you want to. For example, if in my case, if a user that is part of my membership already comments on this story mention that I, that I just created, then I don't want this trigger to basically trigger and send them a message because they are already part of my membership and I don't want to send them a template they already have access to, right? More about the specific story in just a little bit, but I just want to show you how you can set this part up. Now, once you did so, you can then add a flow. I add a flow called IG story comments. So that is short for Instagram story comments. And if we go there, you will see the following flow. You will have the starting trigger story replied. And then you can basically just reply back if you like to. So, hey, username, thanks for replying. As promised, I'm gifting you my chatbot starter package. Now, if you have several stories and users comment on those different kinds of stories, you might want to have a condition block inside. So you can check on several things. For example, you could check on the story, uh, story ID, right? So if we go towards the Instagram, as you can see here, I just set up a really simple story just to demonstrate, right? Basically, soon as they say comment chatbot to receive your free template, if they comment with chatbot, then they will be able to receive this automation. But inside the URL, we also have a story ID that we could use, right? So inside of UChat, you will be able to check this story ID. So we can do that by going with IG. And then we have the story ID mapped because we did so in the automation, right? And then we can basically say, if the story ID is this one, can just copy and paste this. Then reply with this message. And if you have another story ID, you could, for example, add a new condition group. And inside this condition group, you can then go with another story ID. And then you grab the following story ID to map towards a different kind of message, right? So this is how you can have one story replied and basically have one flow to have several uh, different kinds of responses based on the story ID. You could also go with, instead of story ID, we can delete this. And instead with this, we could also go with the IG story message. So if they replied with chatbot, in this case, because I requested that, right? Then the IG story message will contain this. And then we can say, we want to map this towards this reply. So it's a little bit different. Um, so it's really depending on how you set up your own automations, so how you want to filter through them. So these are the things that you can do to filter through the different kinds of comments and then give the corresponding replies accordingly. Now, in this case, we are just going to send the user a message. If they press the button below, they will get a free template. I'm going to access the UChat API to create a template and then give them the template ID. So let's see if this works, right? So I have the story message is set to ID. So let me go towards my phone and see if I get an automation triggered. So I'm now on my phone. So let's go towards my business profile click on the story and let's just comment with chatbot. And 
there we have it. If I go back now towards my main settings, I already see a message on the top right corner. So if I press this, then you will now see, hey Mark, thanks for replying. As promised, I'm gifting you my chatbot starter package. And then if you're ready to grab your free copy, just press the button below. If I then press the button, download now, then we'll get a copy, as you can see here. And I can just go and install the template. Here, as you can see, we arrived at the chatbot starter package. And I can now basically just install the template if I like to. So the story reply is one thing. We can also set up a story mention. So if someone creates a story and we're going to mention that specific Instagram page, we can also base our specific answer and automation on this. So let's set this up from scratch. What we can do here, we can go towards automations. I already set up the mentioned in story, but you can basically go with a new trigger and then go with mentioned in story. Once you do so, you can then go and map the story ID as well as the story URL. So you can use that inside of your automation. I just set it towards the exact same flow and I'm going to customize this a little bit because if we go inside that flow, then you will see that I now have two triggers on story replied and also mentioned in story. So let's go with the mentioned in story scenario and then let's connect towards this step instead. And I just have a simple message. You can make it as complicated and as beautiful as you like to. I just said something like, thank you for mentioning us in your story. And then I'm giving the Instagram story URL back. We really appreciate it. And this can also be part of some kind of viral referral program where you request the users to basically mention the Instagram page inside their own stories and you can award them with loyalty points and stuff like that. Uh, but for demo purposes, let's just go with just this setup. So now that we have set this up, let's also publish the flow. And now let's head back onto the phone and let's create a story on my personal uh, timeline with mentioning my business page. Okay, so let's create a story. Let's go towards the create button. Let's go with story. Let's just do something like a really simple text message and let's go with so with this really simple story let's just press it let's just share it and it is done let's go back so you can see that i received a message so if i press this then let's go here and we should get this reply and as you can see thank you for mentioning us in your story and then we will get the basically the story URL back. So if I press this, I will get back towards my own story. We really appreciate it. And this is the way that you can use story replies as well as story mentions inside of your chatbot, create all kinds of automations. And this allows you to set up all kinds of use cases. For example, as mentioned, a viral referral program where users need to earn points by mentioning the Instagram business page inside their own stories to reach a greater audience. And in turn, the Instagram page will get more users and this will help in making all kinds of posts go really viral. We really hope you like this video. If so, do consider dropping a like and let us know in the video comments below what you would like to see for next week. For now, have a great day, take care and talk soon.